I'm going to show you how you can back up and restore group policy objects. So to start, I'm logged on to my domain controller and I'm just going to open group policy management. Within group policy management, I'll drill down to my group policy objects. This, and this is where I can start to back them up or restore them. One way you can do this is by right clicking the group policy objects, pressing back up all, selecting a local location that you want to back up. This has to exist and it won't create it for you. So I've just created a C backup and then you can give it a description. So you can do um, just for the reason backing up. We'll just call this one demo backup and we'll press backup now. That's gone through all 10 group policy objects that I have and it shows that they have succeeded. And it's also said that no group um, group policy objects were not backed up, so we can press, press OK to that. And then if we go to our backup folder, we can see all of the backups, and inside it has the backup report and the GPO settings. So to restore this, all you need to do is right click the group policy objects, go to manage backups. By default, it will automatically select your backup location, or you can just browse to it if it hasn't. And it'll give you a list of all the backups of the name of the group policy objects and when they were backed up. So what you can do is I will just go to my map drives one and edit it. And I will just uh, create a new map drive. And give it just, just some random details. So we can see that's been added. And if we go to details or settings and then refresh in the actual config, we can see that there's now a ZMAP drive and the details here. So let's say we've made a bad configuration change and we need to revert it. We can either go in and edit or we can go to our group policy objects, right click, manage backups. We can select the map drives, the latest one, and then press restart. It'll say, do you want to restart? And you press OK. And we can see that the map drives restore has succeeded. OK and close. So now if we go to map drives, refresh, we can see that the Z is gone and it's only the S that's remaining. Now another way you can do that is by right clicking a group policy and doing backup. So this will just back up an individual one. And it's the same process. You just select the location, um, single backup demo and do backup. And it maps up, backs up the one GPO. And for restore, you can just right click and do restore from backup. Press next, select the backup location folder, and it will give you all of the backups. So as we can see now, we've got both of our backups in here. In here for the map drives, we've got the demo backup that we done first, and then that single backup we done. So we can just press next and then finish, and then it's restored it to that backup we've just created. Now, what you can do is schedule this or do this by PowerShell. So what I'll do is open up PowerShell and we can run the command backup GPO. And then we can do dash all, then dash path, and then give it a name for where we want to put the backups. So I'll just put it in C backup. And then if we want, we can add a dash comment and then give it a comment for the description. So we'll do backup done using PowerShell. And then if we press enter, we can see it going through all of our group policies and doing the backups. And then if we right click our group policy objects and go to manage backups, we can see that there's quite a lot in here now and we, we can do it by description so we can see that that backup was done using PowerShell. We've got the single backup and the original one we've done first. Down at the bottom, we can click show only the latest version of each GPO. So what this does, this is the latest backup, which we can see is just done using PowerShell. And if I do a manual backup of say this one, let's do backup, single backup, and then go back into our GPO backups, click show only the latest version. 
We can see that the one for the laps just shows this single backup, not the one PowerShell, but it's just pulled down the latest backup for each one. Now, a benefit of using PowerShell is that you don't actually have to have it go to a local backup location. So you can do a file share. So if I set this to um, DC01 shares tech backup. So this is a folder I created area on the network share that we can use to do it. So if I run this, this will save it all to a file share, which if I browse to, we can see it's put all the backups in here. Now what you can do is get this command and then run it every day and it'll back up your group policy objects once a day whenever you set the command to run because by default your group policy is replicated across all of your domain controllers. However, that doesn't protect you against any corruption or bad configuration changes as if any of them get corrupt or incorrect changes that will just replicate them those changes to all of the domain controllers and you won't be able to restore it because you won't have a backup. So if you just schedule this command using either a task scheduler or some third party task scheduling software, you'll be able to get consistent backups done however frequently you want. And then to restore it, you can just do manage backups, select browse, go to your network location, and then you can see all of the backups done that are stored in the network location. And that is the basics for backing up and restoring group policy objects, both using the management console and using PowerShell.